Yes, you can. Sh Kenny, wait, I need mean, please Kenny. Right here. Okay, look. Hold up. Okay. I want to tell the bitch I should have to take. So this is my name. Wait, Sal. Sal, get over there. Yo, right there, Can I have it like that or turn it the other way? Which way do you think? Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. Go put your head, your, your microphones on this road. Woo, sir. He said to put your microphone on, Sal. He, he ain't listening. <laughs> he's, he's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, she's busy talking at him. He ain't paying attention. Listen to me real quick. Pretty eyes. Look. Leave me alone. Wait, 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 wait. I thought that was a mouse. Wait a minute. You thought it was a mouse. He said, anybody jump like me, right? What's up? Who are you? You know which one the handball, which is the, the paddle ball? Yeah. That's Where's the paddle ball? That's the paddle. Where's the handball? Oh, in your hand. This is the recent thing I just won this year. Really? 23rd. And that was first. That was first. The handball. This is first. Let's see. 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 let you know, look, look, you take it off. Then I had to go to a tour for two weeks late. I barely lasted three days and I couldn't make it. I was in bed shit. So you know what? You can reach me if I'm going to ask you a question about that. You're going to talk to me about it. That handball is just the key. You don't have to use the power button. The handball. All the clothes I got for the kids still, I got to work. Okay. okay. Mom, you okay? You want to come and sit and watch? I'm watching. I'll watch from here. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Put your mic on. Let's go. Mike, he don't hear you. Okay. So, Sal. Sal, do a mic check. One, two, one, two. All right, you're good. One, two, I'm one, right. two. I hate that arm. And I can't wait till Mike gets to my screen. You need to fix it. Uh-huh. Oh. Kenny, Kenny, wait a minute. You got to set this thing so, oh, there you go. So bring it all the way out. Bring it up. Bring, bring it a little further, Kenny. That, that's fun. Jump, 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 jump. Tell her to close her legs. I'm legs now. Keep the legs closed, girl. I'll keep the legs closed. You gotta show my legs now. Bring this up. Ooh, there you go. Oh, yeah, so there you go. Oh, yeah, so there you go. Gotta show our feet. Wait, Kenny, you forgot something. Oh, that's right. We don't want to stand. 
That's what we had going to do right, with right. cameras. That's right. Hold on. We're on one camera now. We don't have nobody to All right. Stand by. Counting down. gentleman who moves into sports. He's into paddleball and handball. He's been on my show before. This is part two. His name is Sal Caselli. Hey, Sal Caselli. You know, I'm Italian guy, but you know, I got that Italian flavor. You know, I've been engaged to two Italian men, so you know, they talk a lot about. So she didn't get his name right at all. I'm going to come out right, but that's okay. You understand. I appreciate it. So, Mr. Sal, What's going on? Well, I just, First of all, what's going on with you is that I know you won some awards this year, man. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Well, the shirt I'm wearing is from the tournament. Okay. And it has my name on the back. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice. This was the. Tell me about this. was the trophy we got, and it was just like. First a, place! It was an eight man team thing. It was an invitational. Got wow. invited. Really? How do you feel about that sound? You know, because I didn't feel as good because I was in a division with a guy mm. that the division I was in, they just stuck me in, they didn't stick me in the higher division, didn't have enough room. So I played in the B class division and on me three games and I'd be wind up going right through. But Sal, look, you got first place though. Yeah. That's an honor. But you know what, he's used to this, because this, this young man got a lot of trophies. I don't know if y'all saw part one, but he brought in all these trophies and stuff. It was so many, it filled the whole area. Couldn't bring the whole crate. <laughs> he couldn't even bring the whole crate. That's true. That's how many trophies this gentleman has been. How long have you been doing uh, playing paddleball and uh, well, handball? Around my birthday, March 17th, next year, I'll be playing 34 years. Wow. I'll God be 42. You. Wow, you don't look it either. I know. You I've really been don't. through been through a lot. So I have I say out and I'm sixty one. It's just <laughs> I I don't give up. I just had to limit my my mobility a little bit. Well, play. you know, like I was explaining to his mom, his mom is here today. Hi mom, how you doing? She's a beautiful woman, you got a beautiful family. And let me just tell you something. Like I just told explain to your mom about the mobility is that it's a part of life. Our life changes. And it's something that I'm getting used to because, you know, I, I used to be into sports too. You know, I used to swim every day. I used to relax every day. I love the water. But I can't do that no more. I can get in the water because I love the ocean, but I can't go like I used to because this thing, this nerve damage, it, it can lock up at any time and make one of the sharks might want to eat me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, getting back to you, Sal. But that's a true, that's a true statement. You know, when we get up in age, you know, and you should be, it's an honor that you have been able to be in sports this long. You know, some people don't even last that long. That's why I'm saying, you know, you look good. I know, it's just a personal that personal thing happened three years ago. Yeah. So it made me three years, when I recovered, mm -hmm. I aged, I feel, I, my body aged a little bit more than it should have. Yeah, because, you know, our meta metabolism slows down. So we don't heal like we do when we're young, you know what I mean? It takes long for your body to heal, but you know, we can overcome all that. And you have, I, I, I admire you for that because for you to be still be playing, doing sports, you know, that's an honor. Well, the change stuff, right now, I'm in a group chat with one of my friends that's mm -hmm. in the chat that I know. Mm -hmm. Right now, 
I'm like the coordinator president of the group chat in Staten Island and okay. we play at these two different parks, Midland and Tyson. Right now, all my my friends had them in the WhatsApp groups. Right now we got twenty three people in it. Wow, that's so wonderful. They, they all check up on me, oh we wanna play, you wanna do this and then we're so trying to get at least thirty two. Okay. Or a little more, thirty two because of Next year, I, I can't, I'm, they're good, but I'm a little more experienced than them. Okay. I'm going to run a tournament for everybody in that group chat next year. And I'm not going to play. I'm going to run it for just locally in the for them. The instructors and stuff. No, I'm going to run the tournament for them that's in the chat. Oh. I'm not going to play in it. Because oh. I don't want to take, win the prize easy off them. Oh, so I'm gonna, sweet. <laughs> no, but I'm. They asked me today, and I said, nah, I have things to do, and I told them where I was going. They said, get low. So I want you to tell the public, you know, where they can find you in terms of, you know, y'all do these tournaments, you know, that you got, you have now with this new group. You said, where's Midland at? Off of uh, Father, Ca it's Midland Avenue off the Father Capadano. Okay, is that Staten Island? That's Staten Island. Okay, for those who live in Staten Island, you probably know the area, and where's the other place? It's... Weed Avenue parks on Weed Avenue or for Tyson's Lane. That's in Dunk. I think that's that could be. Yeah, a little uh, towns in Staten Island. I don't know if that's Oakwood Heights or that's that might be close to Oakwood Heights. Is that near Highland Boulevard or something? That's right where the it's right right near Highland. It's right where the Burger King that closed now. Where you there's a turn you make in. I know. <laughs> I love from Staten Island, y'all. I'm still learning it, believe it or not. There's certain places I've been that I, I'm familiar with. So anyway, let's get back to this. Um, I want you to tell us about, you know, the fundamentals of paddleball and stuff that you want to talk about with the paddle balls and handball, the difference between the two. Well, the handball is actually... Can, we, can you lift it up so they can see what the handball? It's a more competitive sport. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, mm -hmm. you wear gloves mm -hmm. to prevent cuts like this, glass and everything, you know, and, and you don't get cuts or scrapes, you know, right. protect your hand. Oh, okay. You know, well, and it actually, I wish it would have matched, but... <laughs> it's okay. Gloves in the dark. Oh, wow. This is nice. Heavy, too. They're, they're similar to biker gloves. Biker gloves are made different yeah, material. They're, yeah, and they're leather. Well, I got so many, I don't even need gloves anymore. I had them donated for kids and then the organization sent them to me for myself. So I got wow. like too many. So yeah, quite a good, uh, good sponsorship to me. Not really, okay. it's just I have to prove how many I got just to get the donation of the pets. I have to have kids. Yeah. With their name and the picture. So you want to explain that a little more to people so they can understand, so you can invite kids and other kids that might want to come in to learn how to play paddleball and stuff because it's a it's a very challenging sport. You know, I I know I play tennis, I play racquetball. You know, but it's all similar. It's, it's all got the similar thing where we move our body, how we move, right? It's similar. It's it's well, similar. You explain it. It's similar. <laughs> But te when you're playing tennis, mm -hmm. you're holding it up here, mm -hmm. like with a paddle, the handle's a little thick like this. Right. So when you go to swing, you have wrist, and you're not hurting much of your elbow or shoulder because if you go sidearm too much, it you hurts. Can, can, the more you do wrist, even like handball, the more you do wrist, mm -hmm. you don't hurt yourself because if you're using your stiff arm, you're putting you're pressure. pulling that pressure on here. Yeah. Let me see that. Let me so see. that's why I have some little... Yeah, my brother used to play tennis. I like tennis, uh -oh. but I wasn't really tennis like savvy. I like racquetball. I was into the racquetball, the walls. You know, the walls. So it's all in the wrist. Right? It's like all in the wrist. It's all in the uh, wrist yeah. when you swing. Like, it's all in the wrist. It's, it's like racquetball, too, because racquetball like, is in the wrist. But racquetball, you got to really... Yeah, you really, got that move. You like and this move. <laughs> you're pulling when you're going like this, you're using all these joints. And you have to watch because you could actually pull you could screw up your arm a little bit because you because wow. when you're playing on a four wall court indoors, 
comes off the wall. You have to really go like this once it bounces off the wall. You really got to use all your strength going and you can really... Yeah, that's interesting. That's really, and this is lightweight too. Actually, I just got that from a friend almost, a, almost a year ago. It's one of the lightest things, and I don't it's feel, light. I don't really feel much pain. No, it's light. I love it. Oh, I like that. <laughs> nice. So anyway, the difference between paddle ball and the difference between handball, hand you got to you got to use a lot of skills with your legs. Your arms and you gotta have the stamina. Yeah. And right, it's like me. I have the stamina, but I can't. After a while, because of the condition, I I run. I can't. I run out of stamina pretty fast, though. Well, listen. You had your you had your years of experience with this, and that's a blessing by itself, Sal. And like I said, I'm honored to have him here because. For him to be the age that he is, and he just won another award this year. This year. First place. Actually, this is the second. This is, Wait, se this? Go ahead. This is the semis for handball third. Singles and doubles. It was third. This was this pit. This was the beginning the beginning of uh no, actually this was the end of was, the end of July. This was. Okay. It wasn't wow, bad. Let me see that. This is really nice. I actually got to add the third in, but... I got my souvenir, y'all. Thank you, Sal. Thank you for my, <laughs> thank you for my gift. <laughs> I love it. So tell us, Sal, so tell us, just talk about the kids and stuff, what you're doing now in terms of... Well, right now, I was to, trying to get involved with kids with a program, but... Okay, let's talk about it. Talk with about all this... It. I can't say that much to the bad okay. situation with okay. on the news, but with all this going on, yes. it's hard for me to get in with the school and get or the part, you know, it's there. Wow. I don't want it. You understand. Yes. And it's but hard. you know what? I'm going to say this on my show, people out there, you know, you see this, you're watching the show, you know, those the school just started back. You know, we're going to give South information toward the end. So you make sure you follow him because... You know, he's looking for sponsorship, and he's also looking for those kids that want to get into paddleball and handball. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of kids out there that likes handball and paddleball. Because, you know, I go see the parks, and the kids be out there, they be playing handball. You know, and it's a good sport. It's a good exercise. It's a good thing for the mind. Get your brain sweating so you can keep a clear head. And that's what See, I they said. have programs everywhere else, but I'm trying to do it for out here. It's not now. Right. And it's well, very yeah. hard. And I, you know, I don't want to talk about the political ap political aspect of that because I don't understand why Staten Island don't have certain things that other boroughs do have. So please, you need to support this man here because he's, he's an awesome um, sports commentator, all of that. And, you know, and he, he, he does his stuff from the heart. And he's good at it. And I just love seeing him. And his mom is wonderful. Y'all got to meet her one day. She, she's a beautiful woman as well. I'm glad she's here today. I'm glad I get to see her today again. But, uh, you know, it's just a she kinda gets She kind of gets angry. Where you, uh, where you go? And I'm putting dip. And at four o'clock, so I want to go to the park for an hour to sit there or just to play a game. And she's yeah. like, well, then I got to pick you up. <laughs> It's okay, mom. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just staying busy, you know. I try, I try, well. but it's now since what's happening, it, now the weather's changing, and yeah, that's true. And then I found out the conditions a little different, so I don't know how the weather's gonna make me feel. Yeah. Well, listen, like I said, we in the change of life, and we can overcome. It. And I say that to you because it helps build my character in terms of. My bones and my pain, like you're going through, and I'm older than you. So I, I, that's that keeps that keeps me motivated. That's why I'm saying that to you. It keeps me motivated that you know what, this too shall pass. You just got to find another way around it, to do what you like to do your best. Because this is this is your drive and this is what you do, and you're not gonna quit. Right, right, right. Uh, a few okay. weeks ago, I played on this Sunday. From nine to seven, mm -hmm. I played this, then him all day, and then I went back the next day with friends from two o'clock to, and then the, after that, 
Yeah, I did. over. You over did it. You know what? I didn't you feel nothing. Time. I didn't feel nothing until two days later. I know you didn't. You felt that pain. That's because you know why? It was ninety something degrees. Okay. I and the heat. I feel you great. Out there. No, you know I like the heat. I don't feel nothing. Wow. I'm out there in the hundred. I used to be out there in the hundred. I used to. No, I don't feel nothing in the heat. That's it. And I like See, it. I, the tan I got. Nice tan, by the way. Thank you. But you know what? I just love the heat. The difference from your 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 strength with that is that I, the heat drives me crazy. I got to be in water. It I doesn't be cold. You could give me drink. Uh, I don't drink soda. I drink uh, I juices, drink no sugar, and yeah. everything. Water. And you give me a uh, watermelon or a cantaloupe for the whole day, mm -hmm. I'm good because I can't have really food in my stomach when I'm on the court. Yeah. yeah but I'm good it. for the whole day with like that. Yeah. It's healthy. It's very healthy. You know, and what I was saying is that in terms of me, the opposite from you, you like the heat. I like the cold. But the cold don't like me because I have nerve damage now. And the cold attacks the bone. And it makes it, it irritates the nerve. That's the problem that I'm going through now, and it's hard for me. So I have to learn how to wrap up now. You know, at nighttime, I have to make sure I have a blanket on my bed. You know, I usually don't like to have no blankets on the bed because I'm, I'm a hot blooded person. My body's always warm. But lately, because of my age, like I said, and not change the subject, it's that the cold don't like me no more. But I love the cold. I love the winter. I like the summer because. I have such a way I have fans going in my base room and it's so cold and my mother goes in the computer room, she's mm -hmm. gotta I have to shut the vent and she's gotta put a sweater on. Yeah. She puts it on and I'm like, wait a minute, I got a tight top and <laughs> Yeah. See? No, I do that in summer, but the winter, I gotta have the heat. I'm the reverse. <laughs> I gotta have the heat. I have a heated blanket. I'm the reverse. Winter, I'm, I don't like the cold. Summer, I like the air. The like that, yeah. Even in the summertime, in the wintertime, I have I let the windows be cracked. Especially if you live, if you don't live in a house like me. I grew up in living housing. I never lived in a private before, but I'm in a private now, and that private heat is disgusting. That private heat it makes you sick. I I went into somebody's apartment. Don't change the subject. I said, oh my God, I have to get out of here. I can't breathe. It was so hot in the apartment. I said, no wonder everybody's sick in here. Y'all gotta open your windows. If you go out during the day, you crack your windows, let the germs out. Cause you're obtaining the germs with that heat. I call it, they call it project heat. Project heat is where you can't control your home heat system. They control. Yeah, so that's bad. It's bad. Then you wonder why people are sick and your kids go to school and they come back because some other kid got germs and now their germs spread through the whole school. Yeah. But of course they don't care. Next subject, let's get back to it. I can go on political, political, mm -hmm. politically correct because it is what it is. And even with the sports and stuff, it all has an effect because this gentleman here is, is doing his thing and trying to get a program together I, that I've talked about before. For, for kids. And what do you want to say? I, I spoke to people that play paddle mm -hmm. and everything, and they told me, they told me, oh, why don't you put a thing on social media to raise? And I tried all this, and well, I, as a joke, as a, a friend joke. of mine, as a joke, put laughing out loud, and I can't say the number, okay, but he mean. gave me. <laughs> It was not a, it was as a joke. I could just use my finger. Stop. That's what he gave. You know what? And that's, I said, I, some, I, got, some, I got pissed. That's some, that's some very English, excuse me, crap. You know, I, you know, when I, when I say, well, I'm glad you brought that up because just like me, I'm independent Sal. And I didn't have the show for now going on six years. And, you know, I try to do what I can in the community I live in, which is rotten. And at the same time, it's sad when you got people that's there in the community that's taken from them. Yeah. See, what I'm trying to do is, when I try to go... Taking. When I try to... talked about it before. When I try to go to the tournament, I sometimes I... Charitable goods. Sometimes I don't have the money. So I try to get sponsored, have the money raised for me. They, no budge. Well, you know what? 
join the club because when I started, I had a teen summit. I told you about. When I get everything on my YouTube, maybe I'm going to get him. He's a tech person too, so I might have Sal do some tech work. You know, because he's good at that too. He's got many channels, y'all. I just want to let y'all know. Putting it out there for you, Sal. But the point that I'm making is that when I started my teen summit, make a long story short, I said, you know what? I didn't know anybody really had a mouth from Staten Island. But I went out there, and my daughter, she was in the moment, she said, Mom, because I'm, I'm a little cook, which I am. She said, Mom, why don't you make cupcakes and cupcakes and stuff? I said, you know what, baby, that's a good idea. So I got into baking, Sal. Not, I was enjoying it because I was doing it with my daughter. It's a family thing, too. We were doing it with my daughter, doing something with my daughter, because she had it down. Yeah. I baked over like 100 cakes, cupcakes in one night. Oh, we said all night, different flavors. And then someone ordered some from me. And then a lady had an event. I bought all these cupcakes, and the people she had there, just sitting around, she had a spa treatment thing going on. I bought all these cupcakes there. And I was only charging like $2 for a cupcake. Especially they, they were nice. There's nothing. But guess what? I ended up taking half of them back. I gave out and I didn't want to take all of them back. I gave, gave, gave them back. I, said, oh, I was kind of disappointed. She had me bake all these cupcakes that she ordered for her guests. And she only had like 10 women there. So I understand what you're talking about. The work you put into what you do, you know, and it's for a good cause. It's not like it's going in your pocket. It's something that you're trying to raise for the kids. And trying to raise for myself because of the difficult. Right, yeah, to help you promote your business and all that stuff. No, to help promote myself to go to a tournament. Yeah, yeah, I that's can't. what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Promote yourself. For but they want to get. Do. They want to get into personal things. Oh, you, your par your parents got it and all, and I, and I say it's none of your business. How my what my parents? I says it's personal. But you know, what? I don't like to talk about yeah. like that. But see, that see, they that's make it personal. I say that's just being ignorant. If you don't want to help somebody, shut up. Don't say nothing at all. Here they are here busting their butts, and you're trying to defame their character practically, or or, or make excuses, or trying to embarrass them or humiliate them. Because that's what that is to me. That's how I look, and I know how you feel. Because you're going to meet people all across the air, all across the world. Everybody's not going to be happy. Because Misery Loves Company, that's one thing I continue to stay fast on because nothing has changed, Sal, in, in anything we do. Anything you do, you got to learn how to just shoot them people out. And sometimes, not saying nothing is the best thing. You know why? Because it keeps your, your pride and your sanity within yourself. Because anytime somebody says something ignorant and you react to it, they got the other hand. And, and you know, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard, especially when you have a passion about something that's so important to you and you're trying to do it to somebody else. But that's where the, hum the humble has to be real strong, fast. And it's hard because I do go through it every day. I live in a neighborhood with people who are just, they, I don't even call them human. Not everybody in my neighborhood, but the majority of the people there. They got some mental, mental issues going on. Mental is mental. Never, probably never seen a counselor, nobody in their life. But I tell you one thing, you need to be on something. Tell them, besides smoking toxic weed and chat. It's a shame, uh, this kid I used to help out. Mm -hmm. From 12, and he was at a recent tournament in January with me, mm -hmm. indoors, and then for some reason, mm -hmm. Nobody sees him no more, talk to him. He started doing, actually he was doing it then. I think he just turned 20 or 21. He's doing a lot of vape marijuana. And oh. It killed, he just he stopped talking. No, he just stopped talking to me and that was the end of that. And I used to support him a lot in the tournament. So his brain has been warped from smoking the vape. Yeah, he's, he's, that's all he's doing now. I, I you seen know, him once I'm this right? year. You know right? After January, I seen him. It was. Yes, they changed that. It was all special. Oh, I know, I know, I know, because just like this pedophile got a hold of my daughter, 
He took off her medication so he could give her Molly and other stuff that mess her up. So that's what they think he's doing. Too. Yeah. yeah. And his parents don't synthetic, synthetic chemical, synthetic drugs. And his parents, he's a Chinese kid, six foot. Mm -hmm. And his parents are sh like strict a little. And it's. I don't think yeah, he used to try to come to me for the glasses. Yeah, then he ordered back. But you know what? I don't think they control control him. I haven't, no, so I haven't spoken to him since February of this year. If he's on that that stuff like he is, I'm not saying like my, he's doing a lot of marijuana. Right, right, bad. right. Well, that's basically you know. And this, I don't really got so much stuff out here. These kids are doing that that is 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 chemically messing up their brain even more. And that's the scary part because they get out here and they act crazy, crazy lucid and they don't even remember what they did. No, he knew what he was doing, but you know what? He'd get too <laughs> messed up that when he I played, know. he'd play, but shots he would normally make, he's not even he, he's not, making he's not, he's not coherent. He's not concentrating. He's not coherent because of what he's smoking. Yeah. It's, it's damaging his brain cells. And that's what that stuff is doing. Because I tried to contact, he messaged me on the phone about a week ago, said, okay. yo, Sally. And then I messaged him back, his name's Danny. I messaged him back, and he's like, no, this is not such and such. But I know it's him. Wow. He's trying to pretend. He's somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> but I know it's him because yeah. the way he messaged his back. Right. Because he said the word. That's when he and I met, answered him back, and. He, oh, it's not me. But then he called one time and did the same thing, but I hear the voice. So and I, I could tell. So I he's like, it's not so, me, it's not me. And I could tell he's, he had. Right. So you know what? We're going to pray for this young man because you know why? Because he, you know, hopefully if he sees this show that he'll understand what this, whatever he's using is messing up his whole character. You know, and everything you know him is so much a boy. He's a good kid. I know him since he's like, 12 years old or 11. I used to take him to the tournament and help him, pay, like, support him in it. Oh, can you take me to the tournament? I used to have to go all the way to Brooklyn and then all the way to wow. Now, I go on my own and it's... Well, let me ask you a question, Sal. In terms of this whole thing, like, for the kids and everything, how do you think that it would... Like in this day and time, what we're dealing with is that these kids are in a more and more high rate peer pressure. And I think I find it. I know. I know you find sports keep that sports has kept a lot of kids out of trouble. It actually keeps a lot of kids out of trouble, and it stops them from committing a crime. Yes, or committing suicide. The suicide yeah. rate is still very high up. Our kids were losing them. We were losing them like crazy. And it's it's over little stuff like vape. Because you could actually. Synthetic dope. Synthetic coke. What else they got? Synth yeah, synthetic pills like Molly pills. Somebody put too much chemical in it. See, for the, they do it's like it. for the pain, somebody told me take this synthetic or I said, don't thank you. Mm -mm, don't do it. Because a friend of mine took it and you know what? He had pain or whatever, he was fine. But I says, I can't do that because the medicine I take, it would not be good for it. It might affect my, I said, I can't do that. And everybody's chemistry is different. Yeah. Everybody's hormones is different. Their, 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 um, their immune system is different. You know, they have different failures. So every drug or whatever,